we've been talking to people about their sleep today. So just in general, how do you sleep? <laughs> With difficulty. Yeah, not, not great, <laughs> really. Um, we would sleep if we didn't have toddler twins. <laughs> um, yeah, not bad. Sometimes a bit broken, but on the whole it's not bad. I sleep like a log. Once I'm asleep, that's it. Not very good. I sleep like six, five hours a night. Not very well, generally, I'm afraid. I snore quite heavily. And my partner has to turn me over quite frequently. And I'm told that some times I uh, do that thing where you stop breathing. Or more recently, not so good. Um, I have been struggling a little bit, waking up in the middle of the night, not being able to get back to sleep and things like that. How does it feel if you've had a really good night's sleep? A good night's sleep is refreshing. In fact, recently uh, I've been having quite good night's sleeps uh, and I've been waking up before my alarm, which has been fantastic. Give me the biggest man you've ever met, I will fight them. This is how I feel when I've had a good night's sleep. Um, I'd say better, obviously, but um, I, I wouldn't say it's like, you know, whoa, I'm all <laughs> high, but you know, you feel okay, feel good. I feel like I can do anything. Yeah. Especially now because I've really noticed the difference. I'm like, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like, yeah, kill it today. Everything, I could do everything. Oh, I just love feeling full of beans. Uh, I get very visibly energetic and I jump about quite a lot and sometimes dance. <laughs> do you find that your um, bedtime or your sleep experience has changed much over different ages? Yeah, when you're younger, you can stay up a lot longer. But when you get to my age, yeah, you have to go to bed early. <laughs> I've always been an early riser. Um, I've gone. I've started going to bed sort of a bit earlier. I think yeah. because of Tony's new job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't used to have a bedtime. Well, yeah, we didn't. But also, we'd have no juice for the day if we didn't actually go to bed. Yeah. Yes, drastically. When I was younger, I used to sleep longer. I think it's when I start about forty-five. My sleepy patterns start to change a lot. Definitely when I was younger, I was going to bed a little bit earlier. I think I don't need quite as much sleep as I used to. Or at least I tell myself I don't need as much sleep as I used to. Maybe I do still need the sleep. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I could stay up so late when I was younger, in my 20s and my teens, and then I'd just sleep all day then. And I hate sleeping all day now. I used to do it and it didn't bother me at all when I was a kid. Do you think that your sleep pattern has an impact on your general health? Yeah, for yeah, sure, yeah, for sure. I think yeah, so. Yeah. Men yeah, mental health especially. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I mean, generally, because I said earlier on, I don't sleep very well. And I get that brain fog quite a lot. And uh, it bothers me, you know? I feel like I feel tired more than I should in the day. Because, you know, I'm not ancient, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I think if I've had a good night's sleep, it is definitely different to um, if, if you've woken up in the night. By four o'clock, I'm sort of flagging and just yawn all the time. It makes me stress when I don't sleep enough. I think that uh, creates serious hair problem when I'm stressed. That's a good question. Possibly. I imagine if I got loads and loads of days of not enough sleep, my body would start to say, come on, what are you doing? Give me more sleep. <laughs>